Hi viewers, let's see how to make flower bunch keychain. To make this, we need woolen yarn, beads, and hanging, glue, yarn cutter, sewing, and hook needle. I have taken two three ply yarns together and leave knee length of tail end, and we can start slip knot here. I have included the video to make slip knot in the description. You can check it. Once slip knot is made, we need to rotate the tail end over the needle like this and hold the edge of the yarn so that we can get support and pull the working yarn through it. Rotate the tail end over the needle. Pull the working yarn through the two loops. I am zooming out and showing. Rotate the tail end over the needle and pull the working yarn through it. So this is how you need to make 30 chains. So I am speeding up little bit and showing you the 30th chain. This is my 30th chain. Once that is done, we need to pull the tail end through the loop completely like this and we can pull the two ends to tie the yarn. So now I am going to cut the excess yarn and we can make two more knots to secure it. This is normal knots, you can make it. Once this is done, we will be getting the chain like this. We need to work on this chain. So every 30 loops are there. We need to skip the first loop and need to insert the needle into the second loop like this. Second loop. I am going to make the flowers in yellow color. So I am taking the yellow color yarn and pulling the yellow yarn through it. And I'm going to make a knot to secure it. This is normal knot. Once the knot is made, need to insert the needle on the same loop, same second loop. And pull the yellow yarn again. Like this. Pulling the yellow yarn. And need to make three chain. And one double crochet on the same second loop we need to do this and one slip knot this is how we need to make five petals this is one petal so i am doing the second petal chain three one double crochet and one slip knot my second petal is done if i made the slip knot yeah this is done chain three so third petal onwards you need to make over the green yarn okay second double crochet slip knot third petal is almost done yeah doing my fourth petal taking the working yarn over the green yarn so that flower will be in the top of the green yarn okay double crochet and slip knot three chain double crochet and slip knot this is for every petal we need to repeat i am uh, doing only five petals you can make even uh, six petals but I am doing only 5 petals for my flower. This is my last petal. Slip knot is done. Yeah. Once we made the flower, we need to turn the work back. And we need to pull the loop behind the flower. Like this. Behind the flower. And we need to make one chain. 
again tan the flower to the front and we need to find the next loop in the green yarn so this is my next loop need to insert the needle to the next loop and make slip knot we need to make five slip knots and in the fifth loop we need to do one more flower with the same pattern okay slip knot is done and inserting into the next loop this is the second loop from the flower and making the slip knot inserting into the third loop and making slip knot in the fifth loop we need to make the flower again with the same pattern like three chain one double crochet and slip knot chain three double crochet on the fifth loop from the flower and make slip knot in the same fifth loop we need to make five petals so one petal is done again doing th chain three double crochet and slip knot so we will be doing four flowers like this after five slip knot we need to do one more flower and then five slip knot one more flower so we'll be getting four flowers totally once the four flower is done so for this green yarn i have used 2 3 mm yarn instead you can use uh, sorry 3 ply yarn you can use 8 ply yarn i didn't get 8 ply yarn of this uh, green color that's why i have used 2 yarns you can use 1 yarn itself if you have in the color yeah back tan back and chain one again tan the flower back and find the next loop in the green yarn and make slip knot this is my next loop and slip knot so repeat the same pattern five slip knot and make one more flower i am skipping the two flowers while making to reduce the video timing you can make your uh, three color of flower bunch of your um, favorite color with your favorite colors So my fourth flower is done. Once the fourth flower is done, we need to make the slip knot on the next loop and chain one and cut the yarn. Now we need to hide the yarn that is hanging. To do that, we should take the sewing needle and insert the excess yarn through it and we can hide under the work like this insert inside the flower and ensure that the needle is not be there should not be there in the next side then only it will complete it will be hiding completely At least we need to hide under six loops then only it will be more secure cutting the excess yarn okay. 
likewise i need to hide the green and yellow and yellow yarn in the front end this is how flower bunch looks like we can adorn it with beads we can apply glue in the center and we can stick the beads over it we can attach different colors of flower bunch together i have made already two colors of flower bunch orange and one more yellow color lemon yellow so these three we need to attach together so that it looks beautiful so to do that again i am taking the three ply cotton yarn with knee length of tail end i am leaving and making slip knot after leaving knee length of tail end once the slip knot is made we need to attach the flower bunches together to do that take one flower bunch and we need to insert the yeah, insert the needles in side ways this is front one from the side v loop we need to insert the needle and take with another side of v loop likewise we can attach other two now take the tail end and rotate the tail end over the needle and hold it tightly and pull the working yarn through all the loops this is somewhat difficult to pull the working yarn through all loops because i have taken the three ply yarn that is somewhat smaller than the needle i am using but you can make this using eight ply yarn now make the one more loop one more uh, loop with working yarn now rotate the tail end over it and pull the working yarn through two loops now i am going to attach the hanging to adorn the flower bunch you can skip this step this is optional one i have used a smaller needle to insert the hanging through the needle and rotate the tail end over the needle and pull the working yarn through it once this is done i am taking my older needle back and going to do the work this is my first chain i am considering and now taking the tail end over it and pulling the working yarn through it this is how we need to do the 20 chains once 20 chains are made we need to make knot near the hanging that is the first loop i have considered so that it will give one loop that we can use to hang anything now taking my first loop and inserting the needle and pulling the working yarn through it and i'm going to pull the working yarn and cut it we can secure by making knots normal knots i am making to secure it and also we can hide the green yarn in the same way we have done earlier by using sewing needle so this is how the flower bunch keychain looks like 
I have used on my handbag. This is how it looks like. Thank you for watching.